Only qualified personnel should service and install HVAC appliances and accessories. See product manual for details. This video will demonstrate how to calculate static pressure on a residential HVAC system and diagnose possible issues. The following tools are recommended to have on hand when servicing an HVAC appliance. Foil tape, a drill with a step bit, the product manual, a thermometer, a manometer with pitot tubes and gas valve adapter, and all appropriate PPE. To begin, drill one hole for the pitot tubes in the return air ducting before the filter, one in the plenum below the evaporator coil if one is installed, and one past the evaporator coil. Place the pitot tubes into the drilled holes, ensuring to point the tip of each tube facing the same direction as the airflow. Next, check the air filter to ensure it is free of obstructions and replace it if needed. Reset your manometer so it reads zero inches water column and connect it to the pitot tubes. Access the lower cabinet and check the fan speed using the fan speed chart in the product's manual. This is used to help determine which mode creates the highest fan speed. Go to the thermostat and turn on the furnace to the mode with the highest fan speed. Allow it to run until high heat or high cool is initiated. Measure the pressure in inches of water column on the manometer and record the reading. If using a single port manometer, repeat the measurement at all locations in the return and supply air. Ensure to seal each location with foil tape after you have measured the pressure to keep the system as airtight as possible. If you are not using a digital manometer, you can calculate the static pressure by identifying the positive pressure reading measured on the supply side and subtracting your negative pressure reading measured on the return air side. When the system contains an A-coil, calculate the static pressure both above and below the coil to identify the difference in pressure at both these locations. This will allow you to identify if the coil is dirty which would cause a significant strain in the system's operation. To locate the acceptable static pressure range for the specific appliance, refer to the product's installation manual or the rating plate. If the static pressure measurement is too high, it may indicate that there is a problem such as a clogged air filter, closed damper, dirty or clogged A-coil, or blocked or undersized ductwork. If the static pressure measurement is too low, it may indicate that there is a problem with the HVAC system, such as oversized or leaking ductwork, or an issue with the blower fan. It is important to inspect and adjust the fan speed, duct sizing or system cleanliness as needed, and reperform the static pressure calculation to ensure that the system is operating efficiently. Once the static pressure is within an acceptable range, return the system to its normal operating mode before leaving it with your customer. Click here to view the Wolf Steel Technical YouTube page. Like and subscribe to our channel to get notifications for new product and troubleshooting videos.